Welcome back. Thanks for choosing to watch this video. Thanks for subscribing. If you're not subscribed, please do. And for everyone that has subscribed, I'm over 100 subscribers now. That's a big milestone, I think, for my channel and uh, what I'm doing. So I appreciate that. Thank you for all the support. Okay, so for this upcoming video, I want to actually start giving a tour of my Lego room in its entirety. So due to the size and how many sets I have, I have about 550 sets in total, give or take a few. More on the plus side, I think it's actually towards 560, but I plan on trading in a few sets. So with that in mind, there's a lot to cover. And due to how many sets there are to cover, I'm going to break down the tour into multiple videos, which will be done by the wall. So I'm standing in front of the wall in which the first video I'm going to do. So for this first video, we're going to cover the first wall that you see as soon as you walk into my Lego room. It's here on the right. As soon as you enter right before my closet, it is a single shelf system on this wall. It has five shelves. They're uh, 31 and a half inches across and 15 inches deep. So as I said, I got five shelves on this. They are adjustable shelves, so I can add more shelves if I wanted. And I got this shelf system from Ikea. So the very first Lego set I'm going to cover while I give a tour of my Lego room and this first uh, wall is the Lego Icons Coliseum. This set is awesome. It's one of my favorites. It's currently still available at the time of this video. It came out in 2020. The set is over 9,000 pieces and retails for $549. If you can get this set, I highly recommend it. It's a great looking piece. And um, while the build can be a bit repetitive, it is really just... Uh, an awesome looking Lego set and can turn a lot of heads whenever anybody comes to visit. Negative side about it though is it is quite big. My shelves are 15 inch deep and on this wall and it does not fit. It will hang over the side and it's got a bit of weight to it although it's nothing that uh, most people can't handle. One final thing about this set was it was the first Lego set that I ever got that was missing pieces. I'm not talking one or two pieces. It was missing entire mini bags within a numbered bag. So uh, that was surprising. First time it's ever happened to me and the last time it's happened to me. So I know it's a unique incident. And of course, Lego was awesome in helping me get those uh, missing pieces shipped out to me. So here is the first shelf from the floor right above the Lego Coliseum. There is no theme to this set or to this shelf. It's just a bunch of different sets that I have. And due to the Lego Voltron set on the left, uh, I need to space it out so I could actually fit this uh, set on the shelf. So here I got the Lego Voltron's idea set. It's a great set based on an 80s cartoon. Uh, I'm really glad I got it. At the time I got it, it was selling for 180. I believe it's retired now. So like all retired Lego sets, you're gonna pay a premium if you can find it in the secondary market. Below the Voltron set, I had a uh, free gift with purchase, which is this Knights set. Um, I forgot what the promotion was, but it's a nice little set comes with two mini figures. You can see the uh, female Lego figure there behind the tree. So next to this uh, gift with purchase, I have two poly bag sets. One's a fire truck or firefighter. And then the next is a go-kart racer. I'm really a huge fan of poly bags and grab them whenever I can. So uh, I really like these small poly bag sets that I can find. Next to Voltron and behind the poly bags, I have my Lego Ideas typewriter set. I did a video on this set, so I won't go too much into it, but uh, this is where I have that piece. 
As you can tell, uh, despite what I said in my video, I did say I did like the way this piece looks. It was just not a great build, in my opinion. And next to that, I have a coffee cup, a Lego coffee cup, which when I bought it, I thought it was gonna be bigger. As you can see, it is not very big at all. So um, I drink a little more coffee than that, so that's why uh, I don't use it. I just keep it here in the Lego room. The last two sets to look at on this shelf are my two Lego stores. Um, these sets are just mini Lego stores that you can buy. Um, they're really great sets. Got one of them at the Lego store in Raleigh, North Carolina. And then the other one I believe I had to order on eBay because it was no longer available at the store. Okay, so moving on to the second shelf here on the wall. Here is a Harry Potter shelf. So I have my Lego Harry Potter's Icons Hedwig set. Um, you can see the three gold minifigures there of Dumbledore, McGonagall, and uh, Hagrid. I have it to Gryffindor colors because you can switch out the scarf colors here. And next to that is Grimmauld Place right here in the back. In front of that, I have the Hungarian Horntail set, which I think this is an awesome set. It's one of my favorites. I really like what they did with the horn tail uh, and compared to the original release of, of Hedwig. So there's a lot of great detail on this set. It's one of my favorites for the Harry Potter line. And then next to that, there is the Shrieking Shack. It's an okay set, but uh, I'm a, I have, I get all the Harry Potter sets. So I went ahead and got it. Of, and you do have Remus Lupin in wolf form there. And then finally on this shelf is the Quidditch Practice Polybag set. I got this set in April 2020, I believe, or 2023. And it was just recently released as a gift with purchase with the Gringotts uh, release and the Back to School or Back to Hogwarts promotion that Lego did on the 1st of September. This next shelf is basically a Disney shelf. As you see, I got the Disney train station with the actual train behind all these other sets. So here's the Disney train station set. Next to that's the Disney mini castle and the mini haunted mansion. Behind that is the up house, uh, which is a set I just got not too long ago. And then finally, Steamboat Willie. So uh, the Steamboat Willie set based on the original Disney cartoon. So this set right, this shelf right here is my Disney shelf, I guess you could say. So for the fourth shelf above the Disney shelf is also kind of just a holding place shelf. I have my uh, Lego Galactic cruiser or space explorer excuse me based on the classic spaceman set this set is awesome i am so glad i got it at first i didn't care to get it but i went ahead and did and i'm really glad that i made that purchase next to it is the blacktron cruiser which was a gift with purchase i got that on a special stand that i bought and then next to it here is the prince of persia sets that i got uh, that's a, just a poly bag set right here. And then next to it was a small box set called Desert Attack. And then the last uh, sets on this shelf are the uh, Adventure Ride set. So you have Dragon, Fantasy in the back, Pirate Ship Adventure Ride, and then Space Ship Adventure Ride. These Adventure Ride sets were available through a VIP program. You had to use your VIP points to purchase them, which they were about 2,400 points a piece. So I went ahead and I have that entire series now of the Adventure Ride sets. This shelf in my Lego room is at a little over six feet. So unless you're six feet tall, you'll just see kind of bits and pieces, something like this angle when you walk in. 
So I'm actually up on a step stool right now so you can see it better. But it is the fourth shelf here in the Lego room at over six feet tall. Finally, the last shelf we're gonna cover here in the Lego room for the first of the video is this top shelf, which I'm actually stepping up on a stool to get up here. Uh, this shelf sits at over seven feet in my Lego room. I have the deep uh, BTS dynamite idea set right here. And then these two uh, Indiana Jones sets. Uh, I haven't built the third Indiana Jones set. It's still uh, in my Lego pile, but here is the top shelf on the first shelf system in my Lego room. And like I said, it's at over seven feet tall. And this shelf pretty much serves as my holding place shelf until I can find where to put some of the, uh, put the sets that I have up here to somewhere else in my Lego room. Because anyone who collects realizes at some point they start to run out of shelf space. So that concludes the first shelf system here in my Lego room. I'll continue on these videos covering all the different walls and the other shelves. As you can see with this first shelf system in my video, it's kind of the holding place for some of these uh, sets, especially the top shelves that you can't see until I can find a better place for them in the Lego room. And then other than that, I have my Disney shelf, my Harry Potter shelf, and then kind of my ideas shelf down here on the bottom with one of my favorite sets of all time, the Lego Coliseum. So that concludes it. Be sure to like and subscribe. Thanks for watching. Hope to see everyone next time.